So over the last few years, the Islamic Republic of Iran has become even a bigger threat than they ever been, all thanks to Barack Hussein Obama and Joseph Biden. These guys who decided to actually support the Iranian regime, make deals with them, give them money and everything else. Now they're coming out to tell you, the rest of the world and Europeans, that you must support the Iranian regime, the Islamic occupation. You must also support the Iran deal. In fact, they even got the FBI to not arrest the actual extremists who were, who were literally going to be going around promoting the Iranian regime in America, which we already exposed on 2CTV over the last few days. But this is on a whole new level. Now, the Wall Street Journal reported that uh, Biden has uh, decided to completely go against uh, what the American government is supposed to be doing. Uh, the administration has reportedly asked the European allies to hold off from any plans to go against the Iranian regime at the upcoming UN Atomic Agency meeting. Britain and France are pushing for member states to criticize Iran's nuclear program in the upcoming uh, June meeting of the obviously the uh, IAEA, the International Atomic uh, en en Energy Agency. However, the Americans, they don't want to increase tensions with Iran ahead of the November elections, of course. And so Biden is now pressuring them to, to refrain from anything that could escalate conflict with them. Hmm. Interesting. This is the same Joe Biden gave billions and billions of dollars to the Iranians. Now, as this news came out, we also got confirmation about what's actually going on inside the Islamic Republic of Iran. The legacy of Obama, Clinton and Biden. They're supporting the deal, right? Wait for this. We now have confirmation that Iran's stockpile of enriched uranium has reached 142.1 kilograms. That's 30 times higher than maximum amount that's actually agreed in the 2015 Obama-Iran deal, which obviously Donald Trump withdrew from under the pressure from Israel and everybody else. And he said, well, we don't want this deal. Then Trump left, Biden came back, brought back the deal and are trying to renegotiate the whole thing again. In the meantime, the Iranian regime completely ignored the deal itself. They got the money and they used that to enrich the uranium even further, 30 times higher than it allowed. They are literally preparing to have the nuclear weapons that they've been bragging about for a long time. And we have nobody in our establishment or current governments in the West that says maybe we should stop them before they get even bigger and crazier until Donald J. Trump gets back into the White House.